I'm going to teach you all how easy it would be for someone to get your info just if they saw you out on the road or something. So here's my plan. I've noticed at oil change places that when you pull into them and then you walk in there, they already have your info up on their computer because they look at your license plate and they punch it in the computer. And if you've been there before, then they just have all your info up there and they have you look at it and confirm it. Three different places in Albany where I live uh, uh, do this that I know of, but I'm, sh I'm sure like all the oil change places do this. So first I'm gonna try this place called Les Schwab. Uh, this is where I've been several times now for new tires or to get my brakes replaced when they go out. But if someone on the road pisses you off and you wanna find out who they are and get their information, this is all you have to do. You just write down their license plate number and then you hope that they're local and then you can just call local businesses. And um, you know, you can do something like this. Thanks for calling Les Schwab, New York, how can I help you? Hello, this is Mark from the corporate office with Les Schwab. Um, were, okay. Were, were you having problems with your computer system there to, to fill out the orders and everything? We haven't been receiving anything here on this end. Um, not that I know of. We haven't, no. Oh, so like everything's been working like normal and everything today? Yeah. Yeah, we've been billing customers out, no problem. And um, if you... Are, are you able to do the license plate thing still? Like if you put in... Like uh, they gave me a test number here to put in. Uh, um, can you put in this license plate number? Okay. Uh, it'd be the four RL. Brad Carter. Uh, this says Dave Carter here in this computer. You have, what is it? I got Brad Carter. Oh, is the phone number the or which phone number does it have on it? Uh, five four one two two three zero seven. And, and which address is it? The PO box. Yep, PO box four six five. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could trick you into giving me this guy's info. He cut me off on the road today, and I'm going to show him a thing or two. I'm going to show up at his P.O. box and, and give him a piece of my mind. And then I'm going to call him on the phone and be like, don't ever cut me off again, jerk. And he'll, 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 he'll feel so silly. He'll, he'll feel like such a jerk when I do that. Like he'll never cut oh, anyone geez. off again. Yeah, so thanks for the information. I'm I'm gonna kick Brad no Carter's problem. I'm gonna kick Brad Carter's ass. <laughs> hey, Brad, Maybe a good uh, about take you out? Oh, almost. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Just about. I had that. They, I I had my front of my Ford uh, sideswiped yesterday going down going home. By Brad Carter? No, 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 no. Oh. Just I, by another little I, slug bug. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Brad Carter. Oh wait, what kind of car does this Brad Carter drive? Is it a slug bug? Uh, Ford Focus. A uh, Ford Focus. Which which year? Uh, two thousand. Okay, great. And do you have like his credit card number in the computer? I don't have nothing like that. Oh darn! Because like if I had that, I could like charge things to him or something. I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't have nothing like that. Okay, well th you've been very helpful. I cannot wait to kick Brad Carter's ass. <laughs> Alrighty. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. <laughs> oh, Brad Carter's gonna get it. He's gonna get it now. Brad Carter definitely needs to watch the fuck out now, because I have his number. So let's try the final place that I know of that I can get Brad Carter's information from. Thank you for calling Albany Jiffy Lube. This is how can I help you? Hi, this is uh, Roy from the corporate office with Jiffy Lube. Well, what can uh, I do for you? Hi, were you having problems with your computer today? It seems like we haven't received any of the check-ins from today. Um, no, we haven't had any issues, not that I know of. I know I haven't been doing any of the uh, main greeting or anything like that, but we haven't had any issues that I know of. Oh, okay, so, like, I mean, you're able to just check people in and everything just like normal? Yep, everything's been completely normal today. Okay, because we showed the last one that came through was um, early this morning, like 8 in the morning. It was, oh, really? It was, uh, yeah, we've um, actually had a fairly busy day. We've had a bunch of cars come in here. Well, did, did you have this one come in? It, it's the license plate's the 46RL. Uh, let me take a look here. And what time did you say it was? It was at uh, 8.30 this morning. 8.30. Let me take a look at my invoices here. Uh, it looks like the first invoice I have is for 8.57. And that invoice was for a, a synthetic platinum oil change. Oh, okay. And that one was on a 2011 Silverado. I see. And Well, are you able to put this license plate number in and see if it pulls up? Yeah. Give me one second here. Let me open up my computer system real quick. Okay, go ahead. That's, uh, let's see, 4CRL. CRL. Yep, it looks like it popped up. 
Uh, last date of service was 5-17-2013. Oh, that wasn't even today. Is that for Dino Alsman? Um, that is for actually for Brad Carter. Oh, which phone number's on this one? Uh, the phone number, let me take a look here real quick. It looks like... phone number we have on that is 541-08. Oh, I see. And is it the P.O. Box on there, or is it the home address? Yeah, P.O. Box 465. Okay, well, I was just getting his info because he cut me off on the road, and uh, oh, no. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna kick. I'm gonna f- I'm gonna call him up and curse at him a whole bunch. I'm gonna. I'm, okay, sounds good. Brad Carter is he's got it coming to him, man. I, oh, all right. I, well, you better get that Brad Carter. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna get that Brad Carter. I'm, I'm. All right. Well, is there anything else we can do for you? He, Brad Carter is in serious trouble at this point. Because like now what I have, did Brad Carter do? Now I have his phone number. He cut me off. He cut me oh, off. Oh, did he? Off. That's what he did. Yeah, and then he flipped me off. Like he he just like gave me the finger, the middle one. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So so now I got his number, and 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 it, he's just gonna get it. I'm I'm so gonna like say curse words at him. So why would you do that? Because he flipped me off. He basically. Oh well. Still, was he a customer? A customer? Was he a customer? I I don't. Uh, he's a customer of yours. Oh well. Well, how do you know he flipped you off? What, when did that happen? Well, I got his license plate number. It happened just this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. So well, he's, that's interesting. He's got it coming to him. I can't wait. I can't wait to call Brad Carter. I'm going to hang up and call him right now. Okay, sounds good. All right, he, he's going to get it. All right, have a great day. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the info. Thanks. There you go. If, if you ever want to find out who owns a car that's out in public somewhere, this is definitely how to do it.